Hey, Zay Rex, Anonymous here. Uh, wanted to talk about something um, that's been kind of going around. Um, we were talking about it last week in class. Uh, power. What exactly does it have to do with what we're doing? Um, we, of course, are using lightsabers. Um, not real, of course, so we still have to be moving blades through space and stuff. Um, but we're not looking to cleave anything through entirely, and even if these were real, we apparently could do that fairly easily. So, uh, what what's the deal? Why why even worry about power and all that kind of stuff? Um, and uh, that's a good question. Um, and what it really comes down to is it comes down to we're not necessarily going to be generating power to be the most power we can generate at one time. Right? But we want to be able to know how much power we can exert if need be. Um, that requires body mechanics. So the power in a, say, a size strike, if I come through here, is a lot through the shoulders, the waist, the body, all of that. <clears throat> now, as I'm coming through, my entire idea is that I'm not going to put a whole lot of strength into this strike. I'm going to put speed, right? I want it to come through. The faster I get it to go through, the more cutting power it will have. Um, and that's, of course, one aspect of power is speed um, and mass. So, but it, the idea is not that we're, we need that power to cut through things or to utilize that against opponents or, or, or what have you. Um, what it has to do with is making sure that we are using body mechanics correctly and that we are producing power through our weapon um, correctly. And it doesn't matter what level of power that is. We can always toggle this back and forth and we can put more into it and, and less depending on the situation. Now, um, even though we're not looking to do huge strikes to each other and, and all of that kind of thing, um, there is a need for the full, full-on amplitude kind of stuff. Um, number one, it pr practices follow-through and recovery. Okay, so it takes you off of your line, it opens you up, and it forces you to come back into line. Now, a lot of people find something some problem with that because they're focused on one-on-one -on -one sparring and all that kind of thing. But there's lots of instances where you can end up with your sword not between you and your opponent. And it behooves you to be able to get back into a good position. Um, and uh, sometimes it happens, say we're in a bind, and that resistance moves away, and I come out like this. Oh, now I'm open. So I have to be able to come through here. Now, if I'm using proper body mechanics, and I'm getting most of that through the body, and that does not have to be a huge turn. I do not have to turn like this. In fact, the smaller it is, really, really tight in like that, the more power we can generate. Um, because we're putting, again, more stiffness and more intra-abdominal pressure, allowing the force to kind of go out to our, to our limbs. Um, <clears throat> and so that's, that's the basics there. And if you're um, wondering what I'm talking about, if you go back to one of our shows with the Saber Fit, we've talked about this a lot of times, the power from our body comes from the core. Right? and comes from our ability to stabilize our spine and stabilize our body. Um, and so power is essentially, and the power exercises that we're doing are essentially training those types of mechanics, right? Which, not only is it f for power to go through things and to destroy targets and all of that, but it's also for speed, it's for control. If we produce a certain amount of power, we should be able to control it, meaning we should be able to stop it wherever we want to, right? If we can't do it, maybe that's a little too much power or speed or, or what have you um, there. And so generating the power is only the first step. So when, you're, when we go through it, if you're looking at the Ataru stuff, 
that's really what it's concerned with, the body mechanics of creating force, of creating power in a weapon, of moving that weapon through multiple targets um, and through a large amount of space, or continuously trying to continually keep power going, which is often difficult. Okay, so we're not really looking for a lot of power. Um, we're, we, we don't need it with the imaginary weapon that we're using. It should be able to cut through no matter what. But, and if I bring up another, an actual weapon here, when we're talking about cutting in with real swords, we have to worry about edge alignment and all of that. That's far more important than how much power that we're going to be putting into this because as you see it's got a very thin geometry here this is a very good cutting sword so when I cut through something as long as I have my technique correct I don't have to put a whole lot of power into it and uh, that's something we'll get into um, again in another video is that one of the reasons for the invention of things like this was to um, uh, equalize that. We don't need the power with a weapon like a lightsaber or like a sword. It has an edge. It has geometries that are good for cutting, that are good for making damage beyond what we can produce with our own bodies. Um, <clears throat> power, power and all of that kind of thing comes far more into play when we're talking about barehanded techniques and we need to uh, turn our bodies into a weapon. Um, that kind of thing. Um, trying to throw somebody. That's another good example there. But even in the throw, we don't want to put a whole lot of muscle into it or a lot of strain or a lot of strength. It should come off very smooth. The smoother a throw is, is, is produced, the the, the smoother it looks and the, the better it feels and the less energy you have to put into it. Um, okay. So that's a little bit of a touchstone on power and uh, what place it really has and what we're doing. Uh, power is going to translate a lot more usefully into speed for us, um, but also we've got, to learn, we've got to worry about producing the power and then we've got to worry about controlling the power. So, all right. Keep that in mind for your practice. Uh, join us on Facebook. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Have a great day. Happy Saturday.